Tessa, this is Roger Earl from Foncare. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for finding the time to do the interview with me today. No problem. We're in Tulare uh, at the moment. We're staying here tonight. Um, and I don't think I've ever been to this town, so uh, it's quite exciting. So, what is it like having been in a band for 44 years? Uh, great. I love my work. It's just not really work. We really enjoy it. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, I play with a bunch of great musicians with good friends on and off stage. Um, I, I play drums in a great rock and roll band. Uh, careful what you wish for when you're a kid. <laughs> Of all the tours you've been on, what was your all-time favorite, like, memory? Uh, if I had one, um, what memories I had are all pretty fantastic. Uh, the ones that I'd not get rid of, uh, that's true choice. Um, probably one of my favorite moments was uh, back in 1977 when I got a chance to play... Uh, and back up some of my musical heroes. 1977, Foghat did a tribute to the blues at the Palladium in New York City. And we backed up uh, Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker, uh, Johnny Winter, uh, countless other people. Um, it was, uh, that was really a, a highlight of my life. My parents were there, my mother and father were there. And, uh, I think it was around my father's 60th birthday, and uh, yeah, there we are in the sort of dressing room, sort of meeting all our heroes. And my mother and father were sort of like looking at me like, you know, a little drummer boy who sort of made it and is uh, hanging out and backing up his heroes. I could see that there was um, uh, their modicum of uh, pride in their eyes. It made me feel good too. I wasn't the easiest kid to bring up. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't think it even should be. And we're supposed to give our parents a hard time, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so who was your favorite band to tour with? Uh, to tour with? Um, there have been a number of bands, but probably back in uh, when we first started touring this fall out, I think, um, the Jail, Jay Garl's band was one of my favorites. That was a fantastic band. Great band. Um, Humble <coughs> Pie was another uh, great band that I enjoyed touring with. And, uh, the Easy Top, I don't know if you can see that many dates with them. They were always one of my favorite bands with them. Um, yeah, that, that would probably cover most of it. Um, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun back then. It is a lot of fun, actually. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it is cool. Get more you wish for. So how has your songwriting process changed as you've gotten older and more experienced? Songwriting, uh, well, anything other than three chords still has to be used with a certain amount of suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> so having said that, um, actually, it's, it, I've been writing um, with a, a blues singer, guitar player, Scott Hull. I met him a couple of years ago to a, a mutual friend, and uh, he came down to our studio down in Florida, and we hung out, and uh, I really enjoyed writing with him. We wrote a whole bunch of songs, like, two or three days. Um, but it's, uh, it's a lot. With Farcats, it's always a bad thing that I think our original lead singer wrote. I know of the words, but um, Foghat always was a band. Uh, I don't think it's always reflected in the song writing, but for example, so right. uh, that whole song came from a jam in the basement, and our singer said, oh, I, I think I've got some words for that. Uh, but the actual song was written in our basement by the whole band, so, and it was often like that. Um, also, when we were doing the Fall for the City album, we were actually recording Fall for the City. Uh, and I said to Dave, I was saying, I said, Dave, how many chords are in this song? He knew where I was going with this. And he, he said, there's only three rods. He said, there's a cover. He said, 
there's a couple of past people, but they don't matter. <laughs> yeah, we are not more than that. What is the most surprising or interesting thing that you've seen on tour abroad? I, I really don't know how to answer that. Um, there's, there's no one singular thing. Um, I can tell you what's the most enjoyable thing um, that after you know so many years. Uh, you know, we played anywhere between you know a thousand to fifty thousand people, and, wow. uh, and to all different ages, especially the teens, maybe you know mid twenties, thirty. You know, people of my age don't come out anymore, not very often anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, it, 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 it's really cool that uh, the band can sort of transcend uh, different generations. Uh, I guess maybe in First place we got the music right, but uh, that, that's one of the most enjoyable things out here. You know, a lot of young folks coming to get enjoyed. So, what drummers did you admire or look up to when you were first starting out as a musician, and has that changed now? Um, really, really, I just I, I, I listened to early that my first early influences were like uh, first actually rock and roll show I ever went to with uh, my father. Took Jerry D. Lewis when I was about 12 or 13 years old, I believe. Um, back in, I grew up in London, England. And my father played piano as well, so um, that was the start. Jerry D. Lewis, Bill Richard, Chuck Berry. Uh, then I got into my money, John Lee Hooker, and, uh, you know, he discovered uh, music from America, blues, the rhythm of blues. That's what. That's where it all started. I mean, America gave music to the world, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, jazz, blues, rock and roll, uh, big band, music, gospel music. Um, it all came from America. Uh, it transcends, you know, countries, languages. Uh, you know, American music is heard in, you know, Japan, China, Russia, Belgium, France. A lot of um, jazz. And my final question is, what song other than one of your own do you think everyone should hear before they die? <laughs> I, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> let me think about that. There's far too many songs out there we should listen to before we depart. In yeah. fact, that's a, that's actually, that's the amazing that people manage to hear as much music as we can because of the, you know, to take up all your time all day long. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview with me today. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, can I say hello? Thank you. I definitely will. Have Bye. a nice day.
拜。